Hi guys, Sim Spence here again. Well, I know most of you are familiar with me doing a live like this. So, well, I think my YouTube should reflect it a little bit. Or maybe that's just an excuse. <laughs> because I just want to do my video like this. Anyway, as promised, um, this video is going to be about how to be a UK bigger host. First of all, there's a lot of Bigo agents or recruiters around Bigo. They're constantly scanning Bigo for potential hosts. All you have to do is go live, go live regularly, and then they will approach you. I remember when I first had an experience of being recruited, there was a few people that tried to recruit me. And you just have to choose which one you're actually comfortable with. And it's very important for you to choose your Bigo recruiter because you can never change your Bigo recruiter. Well, as far as I know, you know, it's funny. It's a say, it's actually a saying on Bigo. You can always change your family, but you can never change your recruiter. There was an incident where a Bigo host tried to be pirated by another recruiter and then he tried to get her to delete her profile and then they tried to do another audition for her and she got banned off Bigo. And Bigo has facial recognition so you can't really fake it. You can't try and be another host for another recruiter. So basically, once you become a Bigo host, your recruiter will be with you for the rest of your Bigo journey. So choose your Bigo recruiter carefully. Once your Bigo recruiter approaches you and then you have chosen which recruiter you want to go for, they will set an audition for you. So in the beginning, it kind of feels like intimidating to have to do an audition. But apparently people sometimes just talk on there and it's fine in the whole two years that i've been on bigo and spoke to a lot of people on bigo and people who became hosts who did auditions and stuff i have never ever encountered anyone failing the audition so don't stress too much about it you can do whatever you want to do when you do your audition after you've done your audition your recruiter will tell you whether you got in or not or like when will be your start date usually it's from the beginning of the month like for example if you had your audition middle of the month you won't really start being a host until the first of the month for the next month well being a bigger host will give you an opportunity to earn extra cash and i have been on bigo for about two years now and they are good with you know paying but you need to reach the target in the UK at the moment the requirements are every month you need to get 600 followers 30 hours of going live and 40,000 beans but for very new Bigo hosts who are still collecting their fans Bigo will have a lower requirements your recruiter will inform you what the requirements will be for a new Bigo host. Because obviously for a new starter, Bigo does not expect you to all of a sudden automatically have all the fans to support you. So my recruiter is Mo. Um, he's also the family leader of the family that I belong to on Bigo. Yes, Bigo has families and maybe I'll do another video to explain about families because Bigo is just so complicated and if you are interested to be a Bigo host you can search for my recruiter there's a picture of his profile I have put his Bigo ID number down below you can private message him on Bigo if you're interested in becoming a UK Bigo host, not only from the UK, he can also recruit from Canada and America. 
Um, I've been with Mbo for a very long time. I love being his host because Mbo is really chilled out. He lets me be independent. He just lets me do what I want to do. I know other big old hosts who gets a lot of pressure from their recruiters. They'll pressure them into wearing makeup that they don't want to wear, wearing less clothes, or making them do more events. Mo is really cool. I get to do whatever I want on my live. He doesn't pressure me to wear... I don't even wear makeup sometimes. I could just have fun. I do enjoy doing lives, you know? I enjoy broadcasting. I enjoy being on Bigo. I have fun with the people there. Most of the time when I go live, I end up laughing. It actually helps me get through a bad day. For example, if I'm having a bad day at work, I go live and then you know what? I've completely forgotten what I was upset about in the first place. Also, it's up to you what target you want to set for yourself. I just go for the minimum target. I know someone, she's a model and she does belly dancing. She's a friend of a friend and she makes 8,000 a month of Bigo. So you can actually um, make a lot of money if you put a lot of effort in it or you know you can just be creative i know a lot of people here who's just very good with socializing and he reaches a lot of targets above my target contact mo for information about targets and how much you get for if you reach a certain target if you reach higher targets you will get paid more some people even host games some people host events so it's complete up to you. You can be as creative as you want on Bigo. I've been there for two years. A lot of people had come and gone and I'm still there. But I, I still enjoy it, you know. There are times when you actually need a break. Um, and it's okay. Miss a month is okay. Because I think being on live all the time, you would get to a point where you need a break from that. Well... I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. I'm an ninja without a name, don't fall in 